Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today we're here with Game 5 of the 1979 World Series. If you missed Game 4, you should go back and check it out. But if you've been following the series and you know that the Reds were up three games to nothing at one point, you know that the um, Orioles obviously won Game 4. And in what a fashion they won it, too. So I recommend you go back and check that out. But for right now, we have Game 5 for you. And uh, the starters in this game, this game will be in Cincinnati, as the last two were. And the starters will be the starters from Game 1. So for the Baltimore Orioles, that means Mike Flanagan will be the starter for the Orioles. And there's his card. And... Tom Terrific, Tom Seaver, will be the starter for the Reds. And there is his card. So, um, I'm not going to go through all the housekeeping and everything again. Um, the Orioles have two injuries that they have suffered for the series. So, they have um, John Lowenstein in left field and, um, and Kiko Garcia at shortstop. And, um, and we're doing the DH just because I prefer to do the DH. So let's get underway with Al Bumbry facing Tom Seaver. And that's a 5-6, which is a fly ball to left field. F7, one away. Ken Singleton gets a 3-6, which is a home run, one to seven, or a double. And that's going to be a double for Ken Singleton. And the first hit off Tom Seaver. And that brings up Eddie Murray. Eddie Murray gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. And that brings up John Lowenstein, who is playing for Gary Renneke. 6-2 is a um, ground ball to the pitcher. So he's thrown out one to three. And Baltimore gets no runs there. And yes, Lowenstein is in for Renneke, who was one of the players that was injured for the entire series. Dave Collins leads off. He's the DH for the Reds today. And that's a 4 4 on Flanagan, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. That's Doug Sinsay, and he's a two. That's a three and a two, which is an out. So Collins bounces out five to three. One away. Joe Morgan gets a 5-12, which is a ground ball first base C. So that's two away. And Ken Griffey Sr. Steps up and he gets a four five. It's a ground ball or uh is a ground ball second base C, yeah. So he's out four to three, and no runs come across for the Reds. Which brings up Lee May leading off in the top of the second for the O's. He gets a 5-10, which is a pop out to first base. One away. Doug DeSense gets a 2-8, which is a strikeout. It's a second strikeout for Seaver and Rich Dower up and he gets a 5-9 which is a fly ball center field and no runs come across from Baltimore there and we are looking at George Foster digging in against Flanagan to lead off the bottom of the second he gets a 4-8 which is a ground ball to the shortstop the shortstop is Kiko Garcia, and he's a three. That's a 15. That may be something. It is a one base error by Kiko Garcia. Allows Foster to get on. Johnny Bench gets a 210, which is a double one to six or a single double asterisk. And that's going to be a single double asterisk. So runners are at the corners. And that's the first uh, 
believe, yes, that's the first hit that's uh, been given up by Flanagan. And, of course, we have to go mark down the air for Garcia. So runners are at the corners. And one is 90 feet away, and Johnny Bench is up with no outs. That is a 6-6, six, six, which is a walk. And now the Reds have loaded the bases up. Um, one of those guys is there due to no fault of Flanagan's, but the other two are his fault. And then Dan Dreesen comes up and he gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout. So Flanagan gets a key strikeout right there. One down. Ray Knight up. He gets a 1-6, which is a ground ball double play. And it was wise that the, uh, Orioles played the infield back because they got the 5-4-3 double play. And no runs came in for the Reds, despite a serious threat. Where you would have to think they should have come away with at least one. And Kiko Garcia's up. He gets a 6-12, which is a ground ball pitcher B. So, 1-3. Dempsey up. He gets a 2-5, which is a single 1-3. to three. And that's going to be a line out to third base. And there's two down very quickly here. And Al Bumbry up. He gets a 1-7, which is a single. Only the second hit given up by Seaver. Ken Singleton's up, and he gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. That's Joe Morgan, and he's a 2. That's an 18, probably an out, and it is an out. So Singleton goes out, 4-3. to three. No runs. We go to the bottom of the third. Flanagan and Seaver both pitching quite well. So far, and Concepcion up, he gets a 1-6, which is a single. Or no, wait a minute. No, he was uh, he was the last out, so 1-6 on Geronimo is an out. 1-6 um, is a ground ball shortstop, so... He bounces out 6-3, to three, so there is a one way and nobody on. Dave Collins up, and he gets a 5-6, which is a uh, fly ball left field B. So he flies out, two away. Joe Morgan up, and he gets a 2-5, which is a walk. So he's aboard. Joe Morgan is aboard with two down. And Ken Griffey up. He gets a 4-3. And that's a strikeout. And a strikeout for Flanagan. The second one of the game. No runs come in for the Reds in the third. We go to the top of the fourth. Eddie Murray gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball second base. So he's out 4-3, one away. John Lowenstein gets a 6-10, which is a double one to 19. And that is going to be a double. So not a lot going on here, but they do get their third hit off Seaver. And Milt May, or Lee May, is up. 4-7 uh, is a ground ball second baseman. The second baseman's Joe Morgan, and he's a 2. That's a 12, probably an out. And it is, 2 away. Runner stays at second. And Doug DeSensei up, and he gets a 3-9, which is a strikeout. Third strikeout for Seaver, no runs for the O's in the fourth. So we have another really good game here, and it's a, on the uh, in the form of a pitcher duel with Joe.
George Foster stepping to the plate. He gets a 1-5, which is a fly ball left field. One away. Johnny Bench gets a 6-5, which is a strikeout. Third strikeout for Flanagan in the game, and Dan Dreesen up. And he gets a 5-4, which is a fly ball center field. The center fielder is a 2, that's Al Bumbry. And that's an 18, probably going to be an out. And it is. So Dan Dreesen flies out to center to end the 4th. The Reds 4th, and we go to the top of the 5th. Still scoreless. Rich Dower gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball third base. So 5-3, he's out in the top of the fifth to lead off the top of the fifth. Garcia is up, and he gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball short. So he goes out 6-3. And Dempsey is up, and he gets a 2-7, which is a walk. So Dempsey's aboard. First walk issued by Tom Terrific, and Bumbry is up, and he gets a 6-10, which is a double one to 19. And that is going to be a double. That puts runners at second and third because the runner is Dempsey. And I don't even want to see what that mean, what that would mean for uh, trying to take an extra base. So. Fourth hit off Seaver. Runners at second and third with two away and Ken Singleton up. It's going to be up to Ken Singleton to get him in and he does not. He strikes out on a 4 6. So, no telling if that was a key mistake that the Orioles made by not trying to send Dempsey to score. I guess we will find out once the game has played out, but. They didn't choose to do that. And so Ray Knight is up, and he gets a 3-5, which is a triple 1-3 to three or a double. That's going to be a double for Ray Knight. And that's only the second hit given up by Flanagan right there. And Concepcion is up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a ground ball third base A. So there's one away. They chose not to sacrifice him over. Caesar Geronimo then steps in and he gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball first base A. Um, so ground out to three, two away. And Dave Collins is up and he gets a 6-9, which is a single. And they can choose to send him the extra base. And they're going to take a look at that. Um, the runner is, is Ray Knight. So Ray Knight's a 1 to 11, so they're not going to do it. I mean, they're just not even going to do it. So Joe Morgan's up, and he gets a 3 6, which is a walk that loads the bases with reds. Flanagan giving up his third walk, only his sixth base runner, and Ken Griffey's up. And he gets a 4-9, which is a fly ball center field. So they can't break through either, and we go to the top of the sixth. And still a scoreless tie. With Eddie Murray up, and he gets a 2-9, which is a home run 1-12, or a double. And that is a home run for Eddie Murray. So he gets the run and the RBI. They finally break through on Tom Terrific. And that brings up Lowenstein. And he gets a walk out of 1-7. So now all of a sudden that seems to have maybe rattled Seaver. And Lee May up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a strikeout. That 
was in a column that uh, had a couple of homers, but it's a strikeout there. And Desensei comes up. He gets a 4-10, which is a home run 1-13. to And that is a home run, and maybe that puts the game out of reach right now. He gets the uh, run scored. He gets two RBIs. And um, Lowenstein with the other run. Another hit. Another two earned runs. And now the Orioles have a commanding 3 nothing lead based on how this game has gone so far. And Rich Dower steps in and he gets a 5-8, which is a pop-out to short. Two away, and Kiko Garcia is up, and he gets a 5-10, which is a pop-out to first base. So Seaver settles down, but not before he gives up three to the Orioles in the uh, sixth. But the last game has probably shown us don't count the Reds out. Although up until now, they've been clueless against Flanagan. With Foster up, and he gets a 5-8, and that's a fly ball to left field. One away, Johnny Bench up, he gets a 2-8, which is a home run. So Johnny Bench goes deep, and he cuts into the, uh, he cuts into the Oriole lead with his own um, RBI and run. Flanagan giving up the home run. It's now 3-1, to one, and Dan Dreesen up, and he gets a 3-3, which is a ground ball, second base A. 4-3, he's out, two away. And Ray Knight, and he gets a 3-9, which is a single. So a base is empty single for Ray Knight. Flanagan giving up his fifth hit. So now the chinks are starting to show in the army armor 610 is a triple one to three or a double and that's going to be a double for Concepcion and the runner is night again so that's they're not going to send him he's a one to eleven so they're going to leave it up to Geronimo to try to get a hit and knock in at least one of those guys and he gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball third base B, and does not do it. 5-3, to three, though, but the Reds do come up with a run, and they do cut into the Oriole lead, and now it is 3-1 to one here in Game 5. An elimination game for the Orioles if they lose. And Dempsey is up, 6-10. That's a double 1-19. to 19. That's going to be a double for Dempsey. Uh, so, let's see. And that was a seventh. Yeah, Tom Hume is warming up in the... Uh, yes, Tom Hume will be warming up in the Reds bullpen. With Al Bumbry up and one up and no outs. 3-3 three, three is a ground ball, second base A, one away. Ken Singleton is a 6-8. That is a single one to 12. And that is actually a uh, line out to the shortstop. Line out to six, two away, and Eddie Murray's up, and he gets a 3-10, which is a fly ball right field right between two walks. So, they come away with no runs in the, uh, in the seventh, and now the Reds are up, still facing Flanagan, who is still out there, maybe running out of a, you know, running out of gas, possibly, but... He's there for right now, and that's a 110 on Collins, which Dave Collins, which is a pop out to first base. And one out. Joe Morgan gets a 5-5, five, five, which is a double one to two or a single. And 
that's going to be a double. So, double for Joe Morgan. Seventh hit allowed by Flanagan. Ken Griffey up. He gets a 3-7, which is a ground ball third base. B, two away. And George Foster gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout. And they can't, they just cannot... Um, fight through and Flanagan really needs to give them the innings he's giving them and the performance that he's giving them because they um, the last game resulted in a lot of relievers entering the game and being mostly ineffective for both teams so John Lowenstein leads off the eighth but now he is batting against Tom Hume who is now in the game for Seaver with Seaver having gone seven innings. And Lowenstein in the top of the eighth. And he gets a 1-6, which is a strikeout. Lee May is up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a strikeout. So Hume comes in, and he doesn't play any games. Gets the first two guys on K's, and then Doug DeSensei gets a 2-6, which is a ground ball shortstop A. No runs for the Orioles, but we go to the bottom of the eighth. And Johnny Bench up against Flanagan. He gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to right. One away. Dan Dreesen. 1-4, which is a line out to second. Line out to four. Two away. And Ray Knight. And he gets a 3-9, which is a single. So Ray Knight with a hit. The eighth by Flanagan, but Weaver sticking with him. And Concepcion steps in, and he gets a 6-6, six, six, which is a walk so Flanagan he may be uh, yeah the gas tank might be on just about on empty here but we'll see and Geronimo is up and he gets a 1-5 which is a ground ball second base A but he gets out of it and no runs come in for the Reds and they'll only have one more shot to get at least two runs and maybe more if the Orioles can extend the lead here. Rich Dower up. He gets a 5-3, which is a ground ball to the pitcher. The pitcher is a two defensively, and that's going to be an out, one away. Oh, no, that was... Uh, Actually, that was Garcia, but um, it, it's just still the same result. Out by the pitcher, 5-3, yeah. So, 1-3 for Garcia, and that brings up Dempsey. 5-10, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. That's Ray Knight, and he is a 2. And that is a 20, probably going to be either an out or a roll again. It is a roll again. And that's a 15. And that's an out. So Dempsey is out 5 to 3. Two away. And Bumbry is up and he gets a 2 4, which is a pop out to second. So we go to the bottom of the ninth. The Reds have to have at least two runs right here to keep the game going and uh, three to win it and be the world champions and they are going to lead off Flanagan is still out there and they're going to lead off with Collins he gets a 5-8 which is a fly ball to left Joe Morgan gets a 4-5, which is a ground ball C, 4-3, to three, 
There's now two down. The Reds are down at our last out, and it's Ken Griffey Sr. He gets 2-5, though, and he keeps it going with a single. So the Reds are still alive. Flanagan just gave up his ninth hit. And George Foster's up, and he gets a 6-10, which is a triple 1-3 or a double. That's going to be a double, and Tippy Martinez is up in the uh, Orioles' bullpen. They've been leaning very heavily on him, and uh, potentially they have to lean on him heavily again, as Flanagan just gave up his 10th hit and 14th base runner. Johnny Bench up, and he gets a 111, which is a ground ball, second base B, and that does end it finally. And we have a final score of 3-1 Orioles in Game 5. And they bring the series to three games to two now. So the Reds jumped out to a big three games to nothing lead. But now all of a sudden find themselves um, only up by one game after five. And going back to Baltimore for, uh, for games uh, six and seven. So... Seven, if there, if seven is needed, but they're going back to Baltimore. So, hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, it's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.